Where Frankie? Where is Frankie Montas? That's been the question. Uh, he is still with the Oakland Athletics, but that will probably change pretty soon here. And there is a trade, uh, a mock trade. I was about to say trade rumor. It's not necessarily trade rumor. I don't want to make it sound like this is reporting or anything. Uh, but there's a trade mock trade that Dan Zimborski of Fangrass threw out there. Uh, let's take a look at this. The Twins acquire Montas from Oakland for Austin Martin, Matt Cantorino, and Simeon Woods Richardson. This was in a piece that uh, Dan Zimborski put together that had multiple trade ideas, multiple trade offers. Uh, this was the only one that included the Twins, so let's talk about it. Uh, would you do this trade? That's what I want to know. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, but breaking this thing down, you know, it's it's two of the, the two pieces that the Twins acquired from Toronto for Jose Brios last deadline, plus Matt Cantorino for Frankie Montas. Why would it take more? You know, they have the same team control. At the time, Jose Brios only had a year and a half of team control. Uh, you know, he signed that extension this offseason. But at the time of the trade, it was about a year and a half. Frankie Montas only has the rest of this year and next year under team control. Uh, but I do think uh, Montas is a bit of a more attractive piece. You know, he's a bit of a more believable top, tippy top of the rotation starter. Um, whereas Jose Barrios is a guy, you know, credit to him who's been like an Iron Man over his career. Uh, he's been very durable, uh, but and he's got upside himself. I know he's having a bad year this year for his standards, but uh, Montas just way more of a, a premium, high octane, top of the rotation type guy. Uh, so that's one reason why it would take more. The other reason is, you know, you you can make an argument for Woods Richardson that his stock is a little down, but Austin Martin's stock is way down from last year. Uh, at this time um so throwing matt cantorino in there um you know I, I think this would get the deal this this would be a deal that oakland would accept but the tricky thing is is would this be enough to get it done would this be enough to beat other teams offers for frankie montas and that's where i feel not so confident because would i do this deal yes i would um these are three guys that i had inside my top six twins prospects pre-draft so not with uh, the draftees factored in, but you know, they'll be top uh, three of the top 10 guys even after I, I were to add the draftees. Um, so, you know, it's a lot of prospect capital leaving the organization. Uh, but again, I really think Montas is such a primo guy to put that at the top of the rotation. Um, no matter how the Twins get into the playoffs right now, it's looking like they're going to have to open with a three-game series with the Yankees and Astros expected to get those buys in this new play playoff format that we have this year with the added wild card. So it's a three-game series. I mean, you're always thinking about your rotation no matter how many games. But if we're looking at that as the Twins, it's Sonny Gray, Joe Ryan, and what? Dylan Bundy? You want to run Dylan Bundy out there as a, a playoff starter? I don't. <laughs> so uh, putting Montas at the top of this rotation, I think, would really do wonders um, for this team. You could also swing you know, some of the guys you're hanging on to as starters, as rotation depth. You can feel better about swinging them into the bullpen. You still need the bullpen help. Absolutely, no doubt about it. That's the biggest weakness of the Twins, I think, right now is the bullpen. But it usually doesn't take as much to get bullpen help. Um, and I, th I think they could still add pieces without having these guys to trade from. But there's no doubt, this would be a lot of eggs, a lot of prospect capital eggs going into one basket. And, you know, as with any pitcher, you know, he, <laughs> he could blow out his arm the first start you have them, but any pitcher these days is such an injury risk that um, I wouldn't factor that too greatly into who I was targeting, um, You know, especially if you can get a t potential top of the rotation guy who's healthy right now. So yeah, I would do it. Let me know in the comments if you, if you like this idea. We're going to also take a look at, because I know people are going to ask, let's take a look at what this looks like over at Baseball Trade Values. Um, and they have it pretty pretty even. You know, as you see here, I'll put it up on the screen. You know, Montas has more value, but I think they, they put that this would more than likely get accepted. Um, again, I think if you're asking me my gut, um, you know, is probably that another team would present a better offer or an offer that had a better uh, top piece than Austin Martin. I don't, maybe Oakland would prefer a, you know, more of a three-player package um, you know, sprinkling the value around rather than having, you know, one great piece that they're acquiring. Um, who knows? You know, it's hard, to, it's hard to know what motivates these teams sometimes, but I think this definitely gets you in the conversation. And, you know, maybe if you want to supplement by adding somebody, you know, giving uh, Oakland someone a little bit that they 
uh, value more than these three guys or even adding a fourth piece on potentially. Um, I think there's there's an avenue to get this trade done. Um, we'll see. You know, again, another team could just totally overpay for Montas, essentially overpay. I'll put that in quotes um, because he is such a, a special arm. And, you know, somebody out there might just decide that they need him more. And uh, it, this, this uh, offer for the Twins might not be enough. So it'll be interesting to see. Let me know what you think. Thanks for checking this out.